Welcome back, beautiful people. This is the baddest, the illest, the award-winning show in the 254. And of course, we are celebrating Mother's Day. I'm mm. Ali Miss me. In case you're just joining us, hey, this is Grapevine, baby. Right. Now, at the Allianz France, it was an all-art affair where the Majano Art Exhibition was going down. And this mm. particular exhibition celebrates yeah. um, artists every year. And mm. they actually even award them. Whoa. Let's check it out. Putting monetary value on contemporary Kenyan art isn't an easy thing to do. Some say it is valueless, and young people especially should not waste their time on it. Others respect Kenyan art so highly that they get representative pieces of it into leading galleries and museums all over Europe and America. Many in this latter category also collect contemporary Kenyan art simply for the love of it or as an assured investment that can only accrue in value over time. In Kenya, the best evidence that creating homegrown art can be both a fulfilling and lucrative enterprise is the annual Nairobi County Visual Art Exhibition, also known as Manjano. I'd like to start off by appreciating Alliance Francaise for enabling a physical exhibition to actually take place partially um, for this year's Manjano 2021. Manjano, of course, um, is an exhibition that tries to encourage artists to look at the city, to look at Nairobi, and to try and see how they can interpret lives and people and activities of this wonderful county and city of ours. The annual art exhibition Manjano 2021 was held online in light of the COVID-19 safety regulations, giving artists an opportunity to showcase their talent to more art lovers. The Nairobi-themed annual Manjano exhibition features a wide range of practicing artists from Nairobi, as well as the students' category. Work includes paintings, mixed-media pieces, sculptures, and more. Each year, the exhibition also includes an award for both the professional artist and student categories, with prizes for the first to third. The awarded works all displayed a great level of technical skill, in addition to depicting an event or encounter or an experience that is typical of Nairobi, which was a theme. Awards are presented to the winning artists at the opening ceremony. You normally see them, you know, pushing their carts with goods. But three times I saw this guy and he, he didn't have anything. And, and I felt him. Mm. I felt the moment. And, and then I thought, this, this is worth putting in a painting. Here's my second piece, titled The Governor's Seat. The seat is golden on the outside. But inside, there's too much corruption. We know that crowns are usually cool birds. The logo of the city council, the crowns usually face one another, but now they're looking on the opposite side. And because of the way the city is hot, that's why His Excellency the President chose body to make things right. That's why I kept this convert on the right side. And as you can see, the seat is in balance. There's so much movement, but there's no progress. Last year's art exhibition was held on the top floor of Nairobi's village market, shortly before the coronavirus hit the international news. The show had to shut down before it was officially meant to. Manjano is a significant factor stimulating the sort of interest in and enthusiasm for the visual arts that will help make that claim a reality. Wow, this is really amazing to see art is being appreciated, yeah? Mm -hmm. And even the stakeholders, you know, coming through to award, you know, these people, mm. especially during this pandemic period. Yeah, it yeah. also shows the upcoming artists that art mm -hmm. pays. So, wanafatu wazidi nayo, you Work know? Work hard, baby. <laughs> 